All right, uh, huge news on Red Red Redemption. Some groundbreaking news that's shaking up the Rockstar Games universe. We're talking about Red Dead Redemption 3 and how it might be connected to GTA 6. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. So let's get right into it. Okay. First, let's talk about the latest bombshell that's been dropped on us. A popular leaker, My Time to Shine Hello, has claimed that RDR 3 is officially in the works. Now this is huge, especially for those of us who are fans of both the GTA and Red Dead series. But we what's are. even more intriguing is the we timing of this announcement. Many are speculating that this could mean GTA 6 is wrapped wrapping up its development. The reason RDR 3 is now in the works could be that the game we're all waiting for is nearing the end of its development cycle. We knew this. Uh, there was a leak that says it, they're going to announce the game at either end of this year or next year. So we already know this. That's right. The upcoming GTA might be getting ready for its big reveal and subsequent release. So Rockstar could be pivoting to focus on RDR 3, which is likely another six or seven years away from being released. Ouch. And if you wonder, who is this guy who leaked the info about RDR 3 development? Well, let me tell you. This isn't their or his first rodeo. He has a track record of leaking incredibly accurate information, especially when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's good that it he comes from a good resource. He has leaks on projects like Loki, Black Widow, and even titles like Doctor Strange 2. While okay, his expert seems to be primarily in the realm of superhero flicks. The credibility Ooh. he has built makes the recent leak about the development of Red Dead Redemption 3 something to seriously consider. If he is as spot on about RDR 3 as he has been about Marvel projects, then we definitely have some exciting times ahead. And if Sounds that's not good. enough confirmation for you, let me just quote what Take Two CEO Strauss Zelnick said. During a chat with the Jeffries Virtual Global Interactive Entertainment Conference in 2021, mm -hmm. he said, I don't know if you saw it. I just saw the new Bond film. That was great. You would like every franchise to be James Bond. There are precious few entertainment franchises of any sort that fall into that category, but they do exist. And I think GTA is one of them. I think Red Dead is one of them. NBA is obviously one of them because the game will continue to exist. So it was already stated two years ago that Rockstar has a plans to continue Red Dead Redemption uh, real quick, do you think Red Dead Redemption 2 was as successful as Rockstar hoped it would be? I think the campaign was. I don't know about their online. I think they would want online to be to have a bigger uh, user base, just like GTA 5. So, I, yeah, I wonder if he said that with um, Red Dead Redemption 2 in mind or if he said that with Red Dead Redemption 3 in mind. Franchise. But wait, there's more. According to MSN, there's a crazy possibility that GTA 6 and RDR 3 could share a timeline. Imagine this. GTA 6 is returning to Vice City in modern times, and That'd RDR 3 might explore Vice City's early 1900s counterpart. <gasps> Mind-blowing, right? But I'm not sure if that's ever going to happen. Let We're going to play think both about at the same time. In the comments down below. Going further, some time ago, I came across an interview with Rob Whitehoff, the voice actor for our beloved character, John Marston. Now, if you're a fan of the series, you know how integral John Marston is to the Red Dead Redemption universe. His character arc, his struggles, his redemption, it's all been a major part of why we love this series so much. Absolutely. In the interview, Wiethoff shared some fascinating insights into his journey of bringing John Marston to life. He talked about the grueling physical and emotional challenges he faced during the motion capture and voice recording sessions. It's a testament to the dedication and hard work that goes into creating these characters we've grown so attached to. It really makes you appreciate the game on a whole new level. Now, Those here's where things get really interesting. When asked about the possibility of of Red Dead Redemption 3, Weedhoff didn't spill any beans, but he did express his willingness to return to the series if asked. This got me thinking, wouldn't it be amazing to see John Marston back in action in R- Wait, he's not in it though, so he's, this is just useless information that he's filling us? DR3. I mean, his character has so much depth and complexity, and there's I mean, still we love so much Arthur of a story Morgan. left to explore. Vitoff also speculated on potential directions for the series, suggesting that a prequel focusing on the early days of the Vanderlinde gang could be an interesting avenue to explore. Now, this is just his personal opinion and not indicative of any official plans, but it does open up some intriguing possibilities, doesn't it? Imagine delving deeper... I mean, I love that idea because think about it. They have um, talked about the history together. They have explored what the, uh, their story beforehand, and we have no idea. We just have hints from the storylines from the campaign. We have no idea what happened. Honestly, I'd rather they don't do a prequel and actually explore what happens, you know?
or into the Next. origins of the Van der Linde I know gang, getting dead, to know more about the characters we've come to love, and seeing how it all started. I think that would make for a compelling storyline. Now, besides the interview, let's get back to what we know so far. As of now, Rockstar hasn't officially confirmed the development of Red Dead Redemption 3. However, given the massive success of both Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2, it's hard to imagine that they wouldn't consider a third installment. Rumors have been swirling around the internet, with some speculating that the game is already in the early stages of development, just like the one I talked about in the beginning. These rumors come mm -hmm. from various sources, including alleged leaks from inside Rockstar, as well as the company's own job listings, which have oh, hinted this is at a, a new saw, project in the works. However, it's important to take these rumors with a grain of salt, as nothing has been officially confirmed by Rockstar. One of the more interesting rumors suggests that Red Dead Redemption 3 might take us back in time even further than the prequel, possibly exploring the early days of the previously mentioned Van der Linde gang, or even venturing into a completely new territory and time period. This mm -hmm. could open up a whole new world of possibilities for storytelling and gameplay. The setting and time period of Red Dead Redemption 3 is a topic that's been the subject of much speculation. The first game was set in the final years of the American frontier, while the second game took us back in time to the height of the Wild West era. So where could Rockstar take us in the third game? One possibility is that they could take us even further back in time, to the uh, early days of the Wild West. This could offer a fresh... I don't know, I prefer to... Do you, would you guys want us to go ahead, like continue in the timeline you know, of Red Dead Redemption 2, or continue later on, or would you want to see the prequel way ahead of them? I'd rather see what happens era, next and allow us to see the formation of the world ahead. that we've come to know in the first two games. Imagine experiencing the lawlessness and chaos of the early frontier days, or witnessing the construction of the first transcontinental railroad. On the that other hand, cool. Rockstar could choose to move forward in time to the early 20th century. This was a time of great change in America, I'm with the advent see that of the part. automobile, the growth of big cities, and the onset of prohibition. It, would be it could great. be interesting to see how these changes affect the world of Red Dead Redemption and its characters. Imagine, There's imagine also driving a model, t model T with horses around. could explore a completely different setting. The Wild West was not... Imagine driving a Model T with horses around. Oh, that would be so great. Oh, please. Industrial Revolution. Oh, come on just confined to America after all. What about a game set in the lawless frontier towns of Australia, or the rugged wilderness of Canada, or perhaps a game set in Mexico, expanding on the London. brief glimpse we got in the first Red Dead Redemption? Pip, pip, Another rumor hello. that's been making the rounds is the possibility London of a awesome. female protagonist. This would be a first for the Red Dead series and could bring a fresh perspective to the game. Imagine experiencing the Wild West from a completely different viewpoint. A this could be a game changer and could I want potentially a attract character. a completely new audience to the franchise. But here's the thing. Rockstar is known for taking their time with game development. We need a female they Arthur. They focus on quality over quantity, and that's why we see such long gaps between their game releases. So if they are... A female Arthur would be awesome. Oh my god. Kind of like Queen Medicine Woman, but with guns. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Oh my god. She can go around rob trains. She could help people. She would hold gun points. Oh my god. Yeah, I like that are indeed working on Red Dead Redemption 3, we might not hear about it for a while, especially with all the buzz around GTA 6. However, some leaks suggest that Rockstar might be planning to announce Red Dead Redemption 3 after the release of GTA 6. This would make sense as it would allow them to focus their marketing efforts on one game at a time. Now, let's talk about improvements. Red Dead Redemption 2 was a Sadie masterpiece, Alder. no I doubt so. about it. The story, the characters, the world building, it was all top notch. But that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement. First off, I think the pacing could be tweaked a bit. While the slow burn of RDR2's story was appreciated by many, it was some players slow. found it a bit too slow, especially I, it, it in the early so stages slow for of the streaming. game. A more balanced so pacing bad could for make streaming. the game more Maybe engaging got, for a got wider worse. audience. There's a rumor floating I around loved that it. Rockstar might be considering this feedback for the next installment. The idea is to keep the narrative engaging without losing the depth and detail that we've come to expect from a Rockstar game. The problem is in GTA, for example, when you're going from location to location, you're driving a car, you're racing or crashing, it's still exciting and very entertaining for streamers. On Rockstar, when you're just horseback riding, uh, by the time you get to the location you're going to, half the audience already got bored. Um, yeah, honestly, the numbers and streaming, it's different with Rockstar and GTA. Not Rockstar, sorry. Red Dead Redemption and GTA. I wish Red Dead was more, it had more excitement and and appeal during this rides or the slow points of the game. Yeah, it needs something for streaming. It will definitely help.
game. Secondly, the game mechanics. While RDR2's realism was impressive, it sometimes got in the way of gameplay. The need to constantly maintain Arthur's health, stamina, and Deadeye cores added a layer of complexity that not everyone enjoyed. Perhaps Rockstar could offer different gameplay modes in RDR3, one for those who enjoy the survival aspects and one for those who just want to enjoy the story and the action. I guess you can do the whole hardcore thing. Imagine if they did Red Dead Redemption with a hardcore character, meaning you die and you lose. That would be freaking awesome. There have been whispers in the gaming community about Rockstar potentially introducing a more streamlined system for managing the character's needs. This could involve simplifying the core system or making it less intrusive, so players can focus more on the story and less on survival mechanics. Another area where there's room for improvement is the interaction with the environment. While RDR2 offered a lot of interaction options, there were times when it felt a bit clunky or restrictive. For I did instance, not notice the that. the inability to climb certain objects or the lack of interaction with some NPCs. It would be great to see Rockstar take a page out of the book of games like The Witcher 3 or Breath of the Wild, offering a more dynamic and interactive world. Also, let's talk about the mission structure. I mean, I think this is a Rockstar game. Rockstar games have a, fo a formula just like uh, um, uh, Starfield, you know, anyway, just like Starfield and uh, Star Citizen and all those guys have a formula. While the missions in RDR2 were generally well designed and engaging, there was a Bethesda. certain predictability to, to them. You a ride to a location, something goes wrong. You shoot your way out, rinse and repeat. It well, would be interesting to see more variety in the mission design in RDR3, with multiple ways to complete a mission and different outcomes based on your choices. Lastly, one of the most requested improvements for RDR3 is better customization options. While RDR2 did offer some customization, it was fairly limited, especially compared to games like GTA 5. Players want to be able to customize their character's appearance, their horse, their weapons, and even their camp. This would add another layer of immersion to the game and allow players to truly make the game their own. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the online mode. Do Red Dead Online has had its share of issues from server stability to lack of content updates. If Rockstar is planning on including an online mode in RDR3, they'll need to learn from these issues and offer a more stable and engaging online experience. There's been a lot of speculation about what Rockstar could do to improve the online experience in Red Dead Redemption 3. One of the most common suggestions is to provide more frequent content updates. One of the yeah. main criticisms of Red Dead Online has been the lack of new content, Dude, which has well led to GTA, some players losing interest over time. Thing. More frequent updates, whether they're new missions, events, or even just cosmetic items, could go a long way in keeping the player base engaged. Another common suggestion is to improve the server stability. Server issues have been a persistent problem in Red Dead Online leading to frustration for many players. If Rockstar can provide a more stable online experience in RDR3, it would be a significant improvement. There's also been talk about Rockstar potentially introducing new features to the online mode. This could include things like player housing, more in-depth character customization, or even the ability to start your own gang. These features could add a I new mean, layer of depth the to the gang, online experience and give players more ways to interact with the world and each other. But here's a question for you all. Would you prefer Rockstar to focus more on the single player story or would you like to see them put more effort into the online mode this is a topic that's been hotly debated in both. the gaming community i think it some players feel that the single player story is the heart of the red dead series and that rockstar should focus on delivering a compelling narrative others however feel that the online mode has a lot of potential and that agree, rockstar yeah, could create a truly unique online experience with the right improvements i really hope that the latest leak about red dead redemption 3 is true from potential improvements to the gameplay mechanics to the possibilities for the online mode to the setting and time period of the game. There's so much potential for this next installment in the Red Dead series. But what about you guys? What are your hopes? And Honestly, so after all of that, we know that uh, Rockstar for sure has started working on Red Dead Redemption 3. For sure. Uh, no question about it. They're working on Red Dead Redemption 3. Um, that's about the leak. That's about it. They're not saying the date. No one knows the date. They don't know anything else except that Rockstar announced, pretty much announced, that they're working on Red Dead Redemption 3, which is great. Uh, my question is, when is it going to come out? And what is it about? If you know any ideas or you have more information, send me the videos. But that's all we know for today.